the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Thank you for joining us for yet another episode of TYC Guy Talk. Gathered with my brothers, just another hot discussion for you guys, God willing. The topic, I'll tell you in a second. I'm going to read a statistic first and then we'll go right to it, okay guys? Among U.S. adults who smoke daily, 90% tried their first cigarette before age 18, and 53% became daily smokers before 18. So the question I have for you guys is, why do you think that's happening? Before 18, the legal age is 18, they're smoking almost 53% of the, uh, about 90% of people are smoking before the age of 18. What do you guys think? Do you guys see smoking? Kira, what do you what do you think? You see smoking around your, your school, your high school? Uh, well, people when they're young, they look at their parents and friends or big people as role models, role models for them. But sometimes they pick the wrong stuff like pick up, picking up uh, smoking cigarettes. They start doing it when they're young, and it gets has a habit. This is, I think, how many people start smoking. Hmm. That's good. What are you, Rami? What do you think? Do you see c cigarettes and people smoking cigarettes? And the way I think uh, many people start smoking cigarettes is, you know, to impress the opposite gender. Because mm. some girls don't find it attractive, and some girls. Well, some opposite genders may um, encourage them to, and like Hero said, there also might be a role model for these people. So the reason some of you guys, well, do you guys think is just because they want to be cool? What do you think, George? Is that it? That's it. I think that's so. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's very rare that they pick up smoking from their parents or a role model. But it's really just the fact that they just want to be cool. They want to be rebellious a little bit. Hmm. Do you guys see it a lot? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And uh, what do you guys think when you see this? Uh, well, actually, outside of um, the school I go to, there's actually a, a smoking circle. And um, it's actually growing like every wow. single day. And um, it's just, they go, because um, uh, you can't smoke in like the school property. property. So um, there's a park right next to it, so they just organize and they park their cars and then they just sit there and smoke before school starts. Wow. Yeah. So you can get from that that there's a need for social acceptance. You know, they, they're doing it to get, you know, uh, con like in a crew, and that you said that crew is growing daily. So that's something to think about, you know. Uh, why do you think they want to be part of a what do you guys think? Why, why, what's the reason? Why would somebody want to be in a, a group? Like, why do they want to be socially accepted in this smoking group? Um, because they're failing like, school and stuff. They're failing school? Yeah. Why is it that somebody's going to want need to feel socially accepted? What do you think it is? So Anton said here... Feelings. You know, not doing great in school. That could be a, a result of it. But what do you think the bigger issue is? Uh, peer pressure. Peer pressure. Okay. So the, the, the feeling peer pressure. Why do you feel like they're getting peer pressure? Um, uh, of course, because they hang out with the wrong people. And um, if they if they keep on hanging out with them, uh, they'll they'll eventually like. People will keep asking them, and then they'll, like, finally go in and just okay. do it. So, George, can you say that that person has, uh, like, uh, confidence in themselves? I think it's actually a lack of confidence. Oh, a lack of confidence. Okay. What do you mean? I mean, maybe they're not accepted by other people. Mm. They didn't feel um, insecure or something, and they have to join a group and feel like they're loved. So they go into a smoking group. Oh, very good point. So maybe it has something to do with low self-esteem. That the fact that they need to be connected to something. They need to be a part of something. They need to be in a group 
And if that group is smoking, you know what? I'll smoke and I'll be part of this group. And if that's the reason why they like me, so be it. And that's uh, something we have to keep in mind. And something really to keep in mind is, you know, whenever we're feeling low, like we're isolated or by ourselves, we have to realize we, we're God's children. You know, we belong to Jesus Christ and our, our Lord and Savior. And we're called to be different. So when we have that understanding, it might be a little different, but it may not be a little different. You know, sometimes the peer pressures in school can kind of sometimes come into our minds a little bit more than understanding what we hear in church and realizing this. But that's why it's really, I'm glad we're, he, we're able to discuss that. But did you have something to say? Yeah, well, um, people do it because sometimes they're lonely. They don't have anything to do. And when God is not in you, you feel empty. And kind, like church kind of a big day for us. Uh, it takes us away from stuff. And uh, we're always doing activities there. It helps us to like get filled and feel like have friends and stuff. But when you're when you don't go to church, you all you do is like stay in the house and do nothing. So you need to have friends, and pretty much the worst friends you can have is smokers. And to fit in, you have to be a smoker. This is how you might start smoking too. So do you think that they realize that these, that when they're smoking at a young age that this is going to become an addictive habit that possibly might be with them for the rest of their life? Well, no, they actually started just to, you know, be, to have friends at the moment, and they think they're easily going to stop later. But the problem that faces them later is that they can't stop it. Mm. This is when the trouble comes to them. Did you have something to say, Anton? <clears throat> yeah, um, I think that the, the most point that the smokers become smokers because, like, they have problems with their parents. Ah, oh, problems with their parents. That's a good point. Oh, I actually, uh, I think, uh, I think it starts because mainly these kids are smoking in high school. So I think this starts always in junior high. Mm. So I think um, these, I'm not going to say the losers from junior high, but I mean like these are the kids who are not accepted by, I don't know, the cool kids, I guess. And so they're always left out. And then, you know, they have this opportunity, you know, they smoke, you know, cigarette and you know they're finally hanging out with these you know the cool kids who you know have nice clothes and nice mm. cars and all of this stuff and what about leading to other things oh like uh, I don't know I guess you know smoking marijuana and you know just you know I think that comes from being um, just you know bored like Carol was saying um, you know church fills us and so we don't really need to you know you know, have this like, I don't know, high experience and, you know, do all this stuff. But um, these kids, like, they have nothing else and they're friends, you know, it's really, it's, it's cheap and they can get it really easily and... If they've already made the, you know, cross the line by doing smoking, maybe other things and other habits might come into place. Maybe it's marijuana, maybe it's another drug, but maybe it's another ha bad habit. Maybe like lying, maybe like cheating. Because, you know, if you already made it, did something that you know it's not the best thing, it's not a good thing for you in any way, what's going to stop you from, you know, taking it to the next step in, in every aspect of your life? What do you guys think about that? Do you think that that's generally the case or not really? It, it was, you know, does smoking open you up for other things? What do you guys think? Kira, what do you think? Well, it's experience. I had a friend, he, he smokes. He used to even bring cigarettes to school and sometimes sell them to other friends. Yeah, and he, um, I, I got the, the, smokers are always mad. They always have weird stuff, their ha weird habits. Like, he never, he's never nice, he's never joking. He's always serious. He comes in, he's like, uh, I'll sell you cigarettes or don't talk to me at all. Oh, wow. He's always hanging out, always failing. I know that people that are addicted to something, they forget about everything else. So they start failing in actual life, not only like this, and everyone's gonna start to hate them and leave them away. 